I have no idea what Patrick just said, but I saw an ice cream cone right. and I see 92 degrees, and that is a good fit for me today. Those two things <laughs> usually go together, right? Yes. And another thing that sometimes goes with 92 degrees What's is the that? chance of what? Thunderstorms. Exactly. Of course, yeah. And that's exactly what we're tracking this afternoon. Along with the heat and humidity, a cold front will be moving, th moving through, sparking the chance of some thunderstorms. Now, right now on live pinpoint Doppler 12, not a whole lot going on across Rhode Island or southeastern Massachusetts. A few showers popping up in northwestern Massachusetts, but the uh, stronger activity still out in portions of eastern Pennsylvania. But this. A storm, this particular storm with the lightning in real time, is moving very quickly, so that'll push through this afternoon, and we'll, we will be under the threat of those strong storms. So that severe storm threat for today. Less humidity on the way for tomorrow, so if you don't like the hot, sticky weather, I think you like tomorrow better than you're seeing for today. And then most of our weekend forecast is looking okay. We'll talk about the Saturday-Sunday forecast in just a few minutes. Right now, it is very hot outside, a little bit of overcast across the city of Providence, temperature 88 degrees. It feels like 93 with that humidity. Winds out of the southwest at 16 miles an hour. This is our visible satellite. It basically shows us where the clouds are and where they aren't. And you can see, despite a few clouds kind of popping up over Providence, lots of the area in the sunshine. And the more sunshine we get today, the better chance of seeing those storms. So sunshine, not necessarily a good thing for today. Already up to 86 in Smithfield, 88 Providence, 80 Newport, 83 in Westerly. I just checked the North Kingstown observation up to 91 degrees there. So very hot this afternoon. All right, there is that fast moving storm I just showed you on live pinpoint Doppler 12. This will be through within the next couple of hours. Behind it, a cold front still sitting in western Pennsylvania. This pushes through tonight, so we will be under that threat all the way through early this evening. Let's break it down hour by hour with our uh, future cast. Two o'clock this afternoon, the chance of some scattered showers and storms, any of which could be quite strong and severe with gusty winds, hail, and very heavy rain. As we go between, say, the hours of two and five, I think this will be the best chance of seeing some strong storms. You can see them right here at five o'clock. And even by seven, as we lose some of the heating of the day, that cold front pushes through, so still the chance of some scattered showers and storms. We clear things out overnight. A much drier air mass pushes in, and I think by the time we get into Friday afternoon, lots of sunshine. Temperatures still warm in the mid-80s, but much more comfortable out there for Friday afternoon. Today's temperatures, upper 80s, low 90s, 89 Pawtucket, 90 in downtown Providence, 89 Central Falls, and 89 degrees in North Providence. A little further down to the south we go with 90 in Cranston, 88 Warwick, 89 at the airport, and 89 degrees in Riverside. And we'll see the chance of a storm even as far down south as the South Shore, 82 Charlestown, 82 Newport, and 84 in Westerly with 90 in Coventry. Keep in mind, some temperatures are already in the upper 80s right now. 91 in Burville today, 90 Foster. Johnson gets up to 90. A little cooler here in eastern Massachusetts. Uh, 86 degrees in Westport, 85 in Little Compton, Middletown 85 and 89 in Seacock. If you're headed to the beach today, it is the type of day where you feel like jumping right in the water. Just be mindful of the chance of some of those severe storms out on the bay today. Small craft advisory until 7, waves around 1 to 2 feet. 7-day future cast, 85, more comfortable for tomorrow. For the weekend, the good news is I think the majority of the rain will be coming down after dark. So the majority of our daylight hours actually look dry. 80 on Saturday with the chance of some showers and storms developing at night. Sunday, I'm leaving most of the uh, daytime dry for now with a high of 80. Doesn't mean we couldn't see a thunderstorm sneak through on Sunday afternoon, but I think uh, most of the weekend looking okay. Monday, chance of storms with a high of 86 degrees. So uh, summer-like weather continues. We'll be tracking all those storms with uh, live pinpoint Doppler 12 for today. All right, thanks, Pete. Now here's a look at what we're working on for Eyewitness News beginning live.